This is a marble clock based on uh, the design of Kinestrata by Derek Hugger. What I've done is I've used the same type of lifting mechanism as Derek used and you'll see here there's a marble about to reach the top. It'll come down and trip a gate which will allow another marble to go into the queue at the bottom. So see here it'll trip the gate and then go down to the next five minute slot. And the marbles that are now released come down to the bottom ready to start again. The clock is now showing 7.59 and there's a marble coming to the top which will then trip the gates and allow it to advance to 8 o'clock. You'll see the little light there is glowing orange and that means that the clock is actually being adjusted at the moment by the little microprocessor that I have mounted underneath there. And you'll see in a moment you'll see it actually turn green when it's done the adjustments and it's now in correct time. See it's now turned to green. So we have a computer on the end here, then a clock timing module in the centre, and then the actual adjustment, power adjustment on the end. And that's driving this small motor here. The motor in turn drives a cog here, which is then attached to a wooden cog in the back here, and you can see there's a sensor here above the wooden cog which is actually counting the rotation of the teeth and that's what's used to do the timing to keep it in perfect time and then that cog in turn drives another small cog inside which drives the lifting wheel at the back and on the front here you can see that what I've done is the actual top cogs have 12 pick up points in them, not that they need it, they only really need one, but the 12 are there just for show. And then the bottom cog has one lift up point. Now you can see that that just released, the, just released the marble in here to allow it to come down and wait in the queue. And now you can see the pick up here as the marble is picked up by the cog. That in turn transfers to the second cog up, which then transfers from there into the top cog. You see it just transferring in the centre there, and now you'll see it appear in the top cog. Top cog. And I'll show you up close here what happens when it gets around to the point. Oops, a little gate. Oops, that gate. And runs down into the next slot. The end view shows that uh, the clock is quite slim. In the bottom there you can see the electronics. The clock is now at 11.59 and the marble is coming to the top to trip and this will trip to exactly 12 o'clock and then it will start into the next hour. When it strikes 12 o'clock the marbles from the hour section at the bottom here don't go all the way around. You can see they're held by a gate. The gate's now lifting and the marbles are releasing. The reason for that is that if too many marbles finish up into this return system at the back here then they've got a tendency to jam or overrun. 
So by holding up some of the marbles, it allows them to release when there's space for them to release. And you can see now all the marbles are now down in the bottom track here, waiting to be lifted again. <laughs>